Out late last night? I wish. No, I'm just tired. I'm not really sleeping that well. What's up? It's complicated, huh? Life's complicated. <laughs> yeah, but we keep on going, eh? Whatever. Sean. You start to excavate a trench in the south zone. Martin? Mm -hmm. It's a uh, 63 sheets. It's in a container. Yeah, sure. 20 inch bucket. Got it. Okay. Yeah, well, it's not a mini excavator. Uh, they didn't have any left. They sent it to six tons instead. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. The field is full of water. I don't know. That lie of sand on track. Are you a geologist or a temp worker? No, I'm messing with you. Uh, just be careful. Don't go and bury a truck. Okay? Let's roll. Okay, but the delivery zone is not free right now, so I'll have to make space. Um, what time does your driver get here? Well, hold on a minute, I'll go ask. Talk to you. All right, Kathy, he's on his way. Yeah, he's coming right now. Shit. Right, I'm on it. Didn't you see I was on the phone? I thought you are the works engineer, not the switchboard operator. <sighs> so what does the works engineer have to say now? We're running out of time. We can't be late. You need to fix his schedule. It's really tight. Yeah, but for the meantime, we're not late. I get you, but we're not behind. Not yet. So much. Thank you so much for calling me. I left you a ton of messages. I just said no one's going to hear back from you. Listen, I'm really sorry. Oh shit! The delivery's already here. I'll take you a bit. Sean, come on with the shovel. What's the matter? I saw it coming. I saw the incident coming. Didn't you? I don't know. 
I'm not sure. I mean, the ground is waterlogged. And you choose not to say anything. You just keep on going. What's the problem? We're not going to stop whenever it rains. Can you stop with that? We don't work like usual when it's not as usual. And not safe. And what do you want me to say? There are problems every day, and it's my job to deal with what's unexpected. It's practically all I do from morning to night. So no, I'm sorry. I'm not going to stop every two minutes. Well, of course we're not going to shut it down every two minutes, but can't you ask yourself a few questions from time to time? Like, how are you feeling? Is everybody okay? Is everybody here? Is everybody at their job? What's the weather like? How's the site? Are we okay with tools? Do we have everything we need to do the job? What can we do to avoid this? Shit, didn't you see this coming? Yes. What? When? This morning. Last night. Just tired. Not sleeping very well. What's up? It's complicated. <sighs> Life's complicated. Yeah. And you keep on going, eh? Why are you not saying anything? What do you want me to say? Talk to him. Like for real. Ask him how he's doing. And if he's not doing well, change his position. I don't know. He doesn't seem all right. He's there, but at the same time, not really. Do you get me? Yeah, okay. But on the other hand, I'm not a shrink. I really don't know what to do. Well, you don't have a choice. You can't let this go on. We can act now. Yeah, well, it's not a mini excavator. They didn't have any left, and they've sent to six tons instead. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What a dummy. I should have said something. I don't know, either spring or something. There was sort of flare of sand on the track. Are you a geologist or a temp worker? <laughs> no, I'm messing with you. Give me a break. Uh, just be careful, and don't go and bury your truck, okay? Let's roll. So there's one guy who has the guts to interrupt you and you just say, okay then, be careful. Come on. No, there's something wrong. What's the problem with the machine? I'm not used to this model. What? Did you know about this? No, I didn't. I didn't really know that. It was just the best solution for us. Why did you tell me that? You could have said, I don't feel comfortable with it. I don't know. If you don't know something, you say it. It's not a problem. But can I refuse? Of course you can, Sean. You've never driven this one before. A six ton isn't a mini excavator, so yeah, you should probably refuse to take the delivery or use an excavator for another job. And at the same time, it's also my fault. I should have said something. I know you just wanted to do a good job. I'm gonna call the rental company. I'll ask them to deliver a mini excavator as a wrench. Until then, go back to the south zone. You can prepare the earthworks for the access ramp with Martin. I want you to keep an eye on Martin today, okay? You're running out of time. Can't be late. You need to fix the schedule. It's really tight. Yeah, but for the meantime, we're not late. I get you, but we're not behind. Not yet. Damn it. What? Mike gave me so much pressure, I forgot to tell you. But what? The supplier warned me that he'll deliver early this morning, so we should have made space. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you. 
I didn't warn you. It's done now. Hey, Sean, you got this. Right. <laughs> awesome. Hi, Martin. Cheers, man. Hi. You're going out this weekend? Huh? What? Uh, yes, yes. Is everything okay, Martin? Yeah. Sure, sure. You sure you seem a little... Uh, yeah. It's just a little problem with my daughter. Is she... It's okay. I, I mean, we're getting back on track, I think. We're supposed to see each other next weekend for her son's birthday. He's my guy, right? he's, he's my buddy. I haven't seen him for months. How old is he? He's two. Yeah, well, for another week or so. <laughs> What's his name? Martin. Like his granddad. Before the incident, everything is possible. When faced with a risk, take the time to take back control.